Hello, hello, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get on into it real quick. Nika came, you know, she just posted a video a few hours ago. Um, I guess she's wanting to school us on demonetization, but okay, girl, we'll let you talk. So let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. So um, I could go ahead and let Nika school us. She titled this video, Hear the Real Tea About Demonetization, Left Me Bankruptcy, Content Creator Run With This. <laughs> what? Girl, <laughs> like she's only been demonetized for only a couple of weeks. Pipe it on down, Nika. Talking about some left me bankruptcy, I guess. But anyways, let's go ahead and let, let's hear it from the horse's mouth itself. Back at it again. Okay, disclaimer, bye, 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 bye. Mm -hmm, yeah, uh, bye. Get it again. I don't get paid on YouTube, okay? I got demonetized. We know. Um, so when they investigate, they say reuse content. So me personally, honestly, I go and I look and I research to see what it means. And I went on different YouTubers page, content creator pages to see what does demonetization mean and why did I get demonetized? So what I did was I went up there and I researched what reuse content means. When I went up there and looked, they have um, certain things on what they want you to do, what you, what they want, want you to do, what they don't want you to do. You can't cross uh, cross over, like you can't take your videos and put on another um, channel because that's like you um, getting more money or whatever. I don't know anything about no YouTube. I only got on YouTube um, program, you know, when I my daughter tell me about people getting paid on YouTube. So I jumped on YouTube. I said, okay, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do it. 4,000 watch hours and uh, 1,000 subscribers, I think, during the time I did my, um, my uh, uh, certification for the partnership program, which is YYP. People do not, does not tell you the full details on what you can know when you get demonetized. Demonetize does not mean you get demonetized that somebody kept reporting your videos or anything of that nature. No. YouTube goes into looking into your accounts to see what they can find to use um, to say that, you know, you're doing this or you're doing that. But I also took my time out after um, doing doing so of being um, reusing content on my channel or whatever. Um, Talk. I went back into most of my videos on both of my pages. Of course, I they don't want you to have clips of other videos off your other channel. Or they don't want you to put uh, videos on your other channel. Not knowing you're not supposed to do that. So make a long story short, being demonetized, if you're demonetized, which I didn't know this, I work hard for the month of July. I already know what my payments are because I got the YouTube studio. People does not tell you the fine print of what demonetized means if you don't get, uh, if you don't approve through the, um, appeal what i mean by the appeal. what the fuck oh my god i'm gonna need for her to get her words together get it straight i it's not making sense okay nika i mean girl what's going on you couldn't wait till you stopped and and talked about it why you, you're talking while you're driving you're too distracted your words mumbling and jumbling together i mean come on appeal is once you get demonetized it will send you a link Girl. I'm going to tell you what you need to do to appeal whatever situation that you're going through with YouTube. Girl. If the appeal fails or denies, you can't do it again. So me, I got a strike on my channel. That strike does go against Ooh. the policy, community guideline policy. So I already had a strike on my channel. And plus, I just got demonetized. So that messed me up. So if I had to pass the appeal, I would have had my, um, my, my uh, monetization back onto my videos. So I didn't pass the appeals. I didn't know what to do. We just, you know, sat in the car or whatever and just, you know, talk on the video. I didn't know how it's supposed to be done or whatever. I'm new to this. So I would also put that on the clip. You don't know how it to be done, but y'all could have sworn you said that she did your research. <laughs> I mean, I could have sworn she said she did her research on it. And, you know, her and I got it together, you know. They they're, they're doing what they had to do to get together, but they she said clearly said that they did research on it. So, to as well on how I did my video, I didn't even delete it, and then I uploaded um as an unlisted onto my um YouTube channel, and then I put the YouTube um URL in there and then give it to them, and then they deny me, and then now I gotta wait to reapply 
for um the two partnership which Ooh. i'm not going to reapply because i feel like it's not necessary i'm gonna get to the bottom of it and tell y'all why but let me finish explaining myself about demonetization when i looked at other people's videos about being demonetization they didn't ever mention about what youtube does and what happens when you get denied one or two times or whatever they just explained on how they um did the appeal and show how they did it and they talk about the littlest things they don't talk about the big things i'm going up here addressing what i got to address and be honest about y'all be honest about the whole thing with youtube youtube is a scam and I <laughs> what the fuck i know i can't tell it <laughs> okay nika Okay, so you must not want to get um back, you know, monetized. You must not want anymore. Nika is pissed. Nika is pissed off. <laughs> I was not expecting her to say that, y'all. I did not I only watched a couple of minutes of this when I was just in the car or I listened to a couple minutes of it. I did not expect for her to say that stuff. Hold on, let me rewind and go back. <laughs> Nika is heated. Hold on. How they did it, and they talk about the littlest things. They don't talk about the big things. I'm going up here addressing what I got to address and be honest about y'all. Be honest about the whole thing with YouTube. YouTube is a scam. And I feel like it's, it's a big scam because why I say it like that is because if you work hard and in everything that you do, you put effort in there, editing your videos, doing whatever you got to do to make sure your videos are outstanding for not only YouTube, but for the, for the audience, the people that's out there watching your videos. And you're going hard doing what you need to do and you're not getting paid for it. Let me tell y'all something. So here we go. It's coming to pay period day. You know, you know, you got your plans already made. You know what day your, your money comes on. You know what day, you know, everything has to fall into place. Everything has to be done. You wakes up one morning, you waiting on your money to come. You wait on that Google Sense ad to pop up on your phone or whatever. And you know your money coming. You wait all day. You waiting on your money. You, you, you eagle to get your money. You know, even though eagle. It's too late for this. It's too late. But you demonetize, but you don't know what's going on. This is what gets me. Why does YouTube does not send emails out to people letting them know ahead of time if it's not before the 17, if it's before the 17 date, you can't get paid. Ooh. If it's after the 17, you got demonetized, you can still get paid. They never mentioned that. So y'all listen to this video clearly. If you get demonetized, on or if you on or before the 17 you will not get paid if it's after the 17 and you got demonetized you still will get your check you still will get it but they told me since i got demonetized on august 14 that i will not receive no um earnings no real none of that if they knew Ooh. all that they should have emailed me ahead of time with oh nika is pissed she thought that she was going to get some money on the 21st of this month. See, I have to look that up. I have to look that up because I don't know if that's true or not, or, or if Nika is the one who's trying to commit the scam, you know, um, because her situation is different. Her situation is different because she reused content from um, her other channel and it was the same exact videos now people might be like okay well reactors they do the same thing well technically we fall within the guidelines for youtube we do not show their whole video and it also we talk over it so it would be different if i was just to go ahead and grab mika's video and upload it onto my my channel then that would um then that would be you reuse content. But since I'm talking over it, skipping through it, that's that falls within the YouTube guidelines. You cannot just take the whole video like Nika does and she puts it on her other her other channel. Now listen, Nick, people have been telling Nika this since last year. I remember seeing it in the comments. And I and I even wrote on Nika's other channel telling her she's reusing, she she cannot put the same videos on this on that channel. And she blocked me. People been telling her this. She was not listening. So now she's in the predicament where she's in right now. To now she's, oh well, I wish I would have listened to all those people who kept on telling me that I can get in trouble for putting my videos over there on my other channel. Hello. Yeah, now now you wish that you would have listened. But I'm gonna have
have to look that up to what she's talking about because um yeah i'm gonna have to look that up just to see if that's true or not but if it is true nika is heated she ain't she she man listen we all we all know the feeling of when you thought when you think you about to get like you know a big paycheck or you know you about to get some money and then all of a sudden something happens and it you know and it changes everything because you have plans for that money and stuff like that man she is heated she woke up on the 21st that waited all day for that fucking check to hit because with YouTube, they don't, they're like the 21st, it don't hit the midnight. It doesn't hit midnight. It'll hit throughout the day. Sometime throughout the day, that's when you'll receive your check. <laughs> you'll get it sometime on the 21st throughout the day. You ain't going to get it at a set time or none of that. They drop it so at a random fucking time. So I know she was waiting all fucking day for that check and she was pissed. Where I would already have everything planned out to have a plan B in play. So now that I'm learning the YouTube partnership program and what they're all about, now when I try to go and reapply, if I reapply, because I'm so upset about the fact that they, when they took everything away from me, and that's what I'm saying, like, people can go around the net and be like, oh, well, you know, she got demonetized, she's going to lose this, she's going to lose that, she's going to do this. You can lose it all. Ain't you lying? You can lose it all, but it's how you're going to lose it all if you don't put, if you don't put your mind in play. And then with me personally, I'm not going to lose anything um, that I know I done built or I have for me and my family. I'm going to do what I got to do what's necessary to make sure everything goes according to plan because being demonetized, it can mess you up. So I'm thinking like this. If you got a million dollars in your account and you got demonetized before the 17th, they're going to take your money. They're going to take that money. You ain't going to see none of it. They say they're going to pay back advertisers um, that has the Google ads into your videos. Do y'all believe that? Do you really believe they're going to give back that money? So if you got $1,000 in your account, $2,000 in your account, and you got demonetized before the 17 date that they go in, so they say on the email, and, and you don't get your money, you're going to be teed like I am. Because for one, it ain't the people fault that's keep reporting it. No, it's not that. It's the fact that they on YouTube does not dish you out your money. They don't give you the money that you work for. And anybody will be pissed about that. And I know I'm teed up because I do the best I can to make these videos for the sake of my children to have lights, food on the table, everything. Now everything is in jeopardy. <laughs> Hold the fuck up. You know what? This is this this is what gets me right here, yo. She's over here talking about everything's in jeopardy. She's working hard to keep food and lights on the table. First and foremost, baby girl, you get food stamps. So girl, if you stop selling them, food will then food will stay on the table. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. And then for her to say, okay, everything's in jeopardy, like she's broke and stuff like that. Baby, why are you pulling up into the McDonald's drive-thru? Nika, we done been around McDonald's. We done seen every fucking brick there is at the Sumter McDonald's, baby. You pull it into the drive-thru talking about um that you and your kids, as if y'all got, as if you have no money, you don't know how you're going to keep the lights on and stuff like that. McDonald's should be the last place you'll be pulling into talking like this. Oh my goodness. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do to pay these bills. So I'm going out now, riding around looking for jobs, trying to find a, a plan B. Because I sit up here and I waited on my money to come on the 21st and didn't get anything. And then I started emailing them back and forth, different people on the team, like, you know, where my money at, what's going on, why I didn't receive my money, what's going on, da, da, da. Hold on. Okay. So it says, it was nice to hear from you. Thank you for your message. Since your channel was suspended from YouTube partner program before the 17th of the month, your previous month's revenue will not be injected. Ooh, if your channel suspension is successfully appealed and your channel is re-monetized before the end of the next month, this month and next month earnings are injected in the third month following the suspension. But if your channel does not successfully appeal before the 16th of the next month, next month's earnings are not injected. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but please take this opportunity to instead wait opportunity instead to make improvements on your channel. Despite this, I hope 
that this is not the last time you take a chance to be a part of the YouTube Partner Program because we are so looking forward to having you as one of our partners again. <laughs> Thank you for the understanding and cooperation. Should you have uh, more concerns, feel free to let us know. Take care, Shanika. All the best, Vanessa. They send this old crap back. Well, we sorry for any convenience. Not crap. Not your earnings, any real you have, you don't yeah. receive, you don't get. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I never knew that this day will ever come for me to deal with demonetization on my account, reuse content, how to do an appeal or anything of that nature. I didn't know how to do the appeal. I just, you know, just sit there and just hold the phone and try to talk to them like that. I don't know. So this is my first time, but I want to let you guys know with demonetization is not what you think it is. If you do get demonetized on your account, if it's on the 17, if it's on the 17, you still, I think you still will receive it. If it's, if it's before the 17, like if it's like on the 10th, the 12th, 13th, the 14th, you're not going to receive your money. If it's after the 17, you will receive it. But if people constantly just be honest about what demonetization means and what happens in the case that you get the... Nika, it's not about people being honest about it. You, Nika, what Nika did was she looked up demonetization and people talking about the appeal, right? She watched one video on YouTube instead of watching multiple videos, instead of looking up different types of things. Nika only watched one video and she went based off of that one video that she watched. That's it. Nika, that's your fault. Next time, actually do the research. Get denied that other people will know what to do when they're in that situation. And I'm in that situation. Now. I'm just letting you guys know if you get demonetized before the 17th, you will not receive your payment of each month because that's, I guess that's when they pay go in. But at the same time, YouTube takes all the money. Like, if you don't, like, I got demonetized on the 14th, and I keep repeating that because the 14th when I got demonetized and I did the appeal and they denied the appeal. So now I got to wait to reapply. But they also say in the bold letter on the second part, um, when I go and reapply, man. Stupid. But this girl is dumb. Let's go back real quick. God, here's what you can do. Review feedback about your appeal. Appeal didn't contain enough visual examples of your filming, editing, or creative process. Nika, when they send you the email about you um, doing the appeal, this is what they tell you to do. Show everything or how you do every, everything. Her dumb ass sat in a fucking car and just talked to the damn phone. Really? They want you to walk them through each step of what the fuck you do. That's it. Walk them through each step in which you do. Also mention that, you know, you didn't, you, you deleted all your videos from your other channel. The other channel is in fact yours. I mean, you know, it's simple stuff. She didn't follow the directions. I mean, but she didn't have Naya. Never mind. Not even Naya. Did you? You should have had Isaiah read it. You should have had Isaiah read it to you so you could understand it. <sighs> when I go and reapply, make sure I don't have no reused content. So now that I'm learning YouTube and knowing what you know what's right and what's wrong and what they do's and what they don'ts, I will put into this video because they got the do's and the don'ts. They got the samples on what they want and what they don't want. You could do green screens. You could do um clips of you know people's video and talk on it and react to it. People can get a picture of you and react to it. That's why a lot of these content creators' videos don't get taken down because YouTube does accept you to you know take a clip out somebody's video yeah. or a picture and get up there and talk yes. about it. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day. Reuse content is when you're taking contents from one platform of yours to another one and using it or somebody else's um, craft that they have and you're reusing it multiple times. YouTube does not accept that either. So by me learning the partnership program, you know, I'm just addressing other people, letting them know that I feel like it's a scam. Yes, it is, because if you work so hard to, effort in, to build your foundation on what you want, how you want it, how you manage your money, and you want that money. You're eager to receive that money because you know you got things that you need to get done. Well, you need to do everything you can to keep that money. See, this is a thing. It Now, you know, we've been, hello, people been telling you this, Nika. People been telling you about you taking your videos over to your other channel, first and foremost. This could have been already done and squashed and you will be still receiving your checks. 
Now she's to the point where she's scrambling around looking for money. What about those bookies who you said that they'll say yes to yes to you and do whatever the fuck you want them to do? Where, where are them ladies at? Oh, they're not able to give you thousands of dollars? Oh, okay. So now Nika's scrambling around. I guess she's at McDonald's for um, a, an interview or going in there to fill out a job application. Girl, bye. You're right. He's about to swoop back through and pick up some stuff through that drive through um, window. What, what was I, I was about to say something. I forgot. And, and here we go. Boom. Zero. You get nothing. And that's not fair. I feel like you don't get anything. How? Oh, yeah. That's what I was about to say. So, see, that's why you always have to, like, YouTube is not paying Nika enough money to where she can, you know, live off of YouTube. So, I don't understand why Nika didn't, once again, we already know why Nika didn't have a job because she's lazy and she was too happy and content with just getting paid from YouTube, TikTok, or whatnot. But she doesn't really even get that much money from TikTok because she barely is over there, except for when she goes live every now and then. But her the majority of her money came from YouTube, in which she still should have had a second job. You work so dang on hard and getting what you want to get, and YouTube takes it all away. And it's never ever see listen, that's the thing. She's not she's not taking accountability for what she's done. Nika, it's not YouTube's fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. Nika thinks that YouTube should have issued her a warning. Um, uh, hey Nika, um, we see that you're reusing content. Can you please, you know, go over there to that other channel and you know delete that content or delete one of the videos from either channel, either or we're just sending you a warning. Next time we're gonna go ahead and demonetize you. Um, thank you. No, they're not gonna do that. They're not about to do that. They're not take accountability. It's your fault. You weren't listening to the people when they were telling you. It's your fault. Own it. Take accountability. Go back and actually do your research and then come back. I mean, aren't they, they're offering her to do another appeal before what? I think the 16th of next month so she could be able to get her check. So do what you got to do ever ever happened to me and i started doing youtube in 2013 when aj was a baby i never been monetized on the account because i never knew that you could be monetized to get paid you know for you know your videos but for me to put so much effort and work into my videos i think that you know this is a test and a big test for me because i mean like literally i put everything into it of showing my life to the world and not only that posting them videos every day going on cap cut editing my videos and doing what's necessary for me to make sure I provide for my children. And that's the way I was making it. But since it's like that, it's like that, excuse me, I'm choking. I'm going to go out. I'm out now looking for a job. I'm going to research different places and try to find um, different resources to help me out to get back on my feet. Because right now I'm in a situation to where everything's at zero. I got to pull everything back up. Um, the struggle does get real, but at the same time, I'm letting you guys know if you ever get demonetized, be careful of what you two may do on or on on or before the 17. I will put everything into this video description box. Um, I will explain what this video is about and what you know y'all need to know about um, YouTube demonetization and what happens before and after and how to deal with the situation. So y'all won't be surprised when you go out there and you get demonetized and you don't get your last check. Because the last check is the check that you you eager for. I can see they take the month of August check and September check. So August check, I won't get that. And I already built that up to a thousand dollars. I'm gonna be honest with you. I built that up to a thousand dollars already. I had that check already to a thousand. That, that it stopped right there. So I see the thousand, but I won't get the thousand. So let's put it like that. But for this month, I was down low, but it was enough money to cover the bills that I needed to cover. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when people come with the negativity about, oh, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. Never give up the fight because of what you're going through. But at the same time, the monetization is not what you think it is. If you pass the appeal, you will get your uh, monetization okay. back on quick. See, that's what you get, Nika. Nika, before the 21st, Nika was out here going to the bingo hall, eating out all the eateries, spending money frivolously, 
And the 21st, she just knew she had that check coming. And nope, crushed her dreams. I'm pretty sure they mentioned something about the payments in the emails that they sent Nika. I'm pretty sure they did. And she didn't take, she didn't read it or she didn't, didn't just understand it. But I'm pretty sure they mentioned it. And you know, once again, Nika went out spending all her money because she just knew she was about to get another check on the 21st. 21st comes around, goes, goes by, Nika's pissed. Emailing YouTube, emailing everybody back to back to back to back, probably trying to plead her case, probably trying to, you know, um, tell them, I got kids to feed, I got kids, how y'all gonna do this to me and stuff in the email and stuff like that. Girl, save it for David, they don't care. <laughs> They, they, they're not going to care. Everybody mentions that they have kids and stuff at times of need. You knew you had kids before the 21st, right? And you was out there spending money crazy. You knew you had kids on the 10th when you received your food stamps. You went to Walmart. You went to Piggly Wiggly, bought a few items from there. You only spent maybe a few hundred dollars. We're going to say about $400 at Walmart and at Piggly Wiggly together, $400. The only thing that you spent off your food stamp card, you sold the rest. You knew you had kids. When Kaya's birthday came around, which was on the 15th or the 16th, you didn't have cake or ice cream for her. Y'all sung happy birthday over some dang on shrimp and chicken Alfredo. Stop it. Baby girl didn't even have a candle. Baby, hey, it wasn't even a lighter lit just to, you know, have some people ain't got it like that. Maybe they light a lighter, you know, flip the lighter and be like, here, blow this. Hey, they didn't even have that. They sung happy birthday over shrimp and chicken Alfredo. Fast forward, Mika, you knew you had kids then. What happened? You know, it's always, oh, I have kids. You can't do this to me. No, you did this to yourself. You weren't worried about your kids then. Fast forward to days after Kaya's birthday, you want to walk in there with Keisha and have a cake for her. Are you kidding me? It's damn near close to Kira's birthday. I mean, kids were confused. Leah's over there looking at Kaya like, um, it's your birthday? <laughs> like, everything, like, you ain't informed the kids on the script, the acting roles or nothing. You just walked in there like, hey, kids, I'm here, I'm back. You know, but hey, you ain't you ain't say anything about. I mean, you knew you you knew about the kids then. You ain't say nothing about that. Like what? It's always oh, I have kids to take care of. How are they going to eat? How am I going to pay my bills? I can guarantee, guarantee, she said that in the emails that she was emailing to YouTube back to back. Nika, you don't care about your kids because if you care, you will be at home with them. If you cared, you will make sure that they have everything that they needed. If you cared, you would actually make sure that they look decent when you present them, when you take them to school, and also when you have them on camera. Stop it. Stop it. Now she's out here scrambling around trying to find a job in which she should have already had. Wow. Oh, wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot Nika does have a job. What's going on with this housekeeping business? Oh, oh, okay. What, what was that a lie? Oh, got it, got it. Quickly. So I had to. I gotta learn on how to do things different on YouTube when I come back to the YouTube partnership program. And of course, they did say, you know, why would you want to come back? I thought YouTube was a scam. That's what you said. <laughs> why would you want to come back? Well, you know, we will see you back in the later future. Whatever, whatever. I don't think about coming back to the YouTube partnership when I got to go through this. I just got to have a game plan if I do come back. So to the ones that respect me truly. There ain't no game plan. Just don't bring your videos over to your other channel. That's it. I'm confused. She acting like that's so hard to do. Hello. You got two monetized channels. You post a lot. Hello. <laughs> I mean, it's really not rocket science here, lady. I um, hope you guys understand what I was saying about demonetization to the ones that did kept reporting my videos and trying to be funny about certain things. It's not going to stop me from doing what I got to do to take care of my family because I'm going to go to the extra mile 
until the end of this road to do what I got to do for my family. So I'm gonna put everything in the clip of the video, let y'all guys see, even though I'm not getting paid for this video. Um, but I did feel like it was a scam because everything got taken away from me. All the money that I put in the effort of the videos that I put out there for the world to see. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notification when we post a video. And I might be serving in my words a little bit on this video because I'm very stressed out. Ain't never post a video. This is only just for people who do YouTube and got demonetized and wants to know what's the next step when you get demonetized and also denied from your opinion. Okay. Okay. So, you know, we need to try to scoop people. Um, so in the description, it says warning. This video describes what demonetization means when you get disqualified from, uh, disqualified from the program. It gives graphic details of what they do accept what they do okay the comma shouldn't be right there what they do accept approve and don't approve of don't rely on youtube as a main source of income and always have a backup plan uh, who is she telling this to <laughs> we know this i'm not gonna quit my job you know my nine to five job for nothing i don't care if i you know run the lottery i'm not gonna keep i mean quit my job i like my job but um yeah so there we have it from the horse's mouth itself. Nika told us about, you know, her demonetization stuff and um, things like that. So, you know, how you guys feel about that? You know, once again, you know, Nika needs to take accountability and, you know, understand that this is all her fault. She needs to listen to the people when the people try to tell her things and say, because, you know, back then, Nika was blocking people heavy. And right now she doesn't block anybody, but she was blocking people to where I'm I'm blocked on both of my accounts from her from her channel. You know, but hey, that's what you get. You don't want to listen to the people. The people be trying to tell you some things, you know, that you're doing wrong. It's good to listen to the people. But um, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all. So we'll see if Nika appeals, you know, appeals it again. The beginning of next month, but as of right now, Nika's heated. She didn't receive her 21st check, according to her, and she's out here scrambling around looking for jobs, which, I mean, I just heard somebody at the end of that video, which more than likely was Naya, shuffling ice in a fucking cup, slurping. So they must have, they, they went through some fucking drive through uh, You strapped for cash, but you still were eating out. I ain't making make sense. Okay. All right, you guys, if you have yet to do so, go ahead and like this video, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe. I will catch you guys back later. Peace.